Ion trapping, as it applies to pharmacology, occurs when a drug in its ionized state gets trapped on one side of a membrane that divides two compartments that contain fluids of different pH values. To state that in a more concrete example, ion trapping would occur in a situation where a drug that is found in low concentration in the blood plasma, which is pH 7.4, is found in a much higher concentration in the urine that is at pH 5 or 6. Ion trapping occurs with drugs that are weak acids or bases, that is, drugs that exist in both ionized and unionized forms. The percentage of each of these forms depends upon the pH of the solution in which the drug is dissolved. This can be calculated using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. Ion trapping occurs when two compartments are separated by layers of plasma membranes. It happens because only unionized drug can pass through cell membranes, but different pHs on either side of the membrane dictate that more of the drug will be ionized on one side than another. Ions get trapped in places where there are multiple layers of cells and membranes that enclose a fluid in places where they can't go through spaces between cells, like they do in the continuous capillaries that are in most of the body. So, they can get trapped in places like the urine or the gastrointestinal contents or the cerebrospinal fluid. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step method for using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to calculate concentrations of a weak acid or weak base drug that is subject to ion trapping in different compartments of the body. Here are the dissociation equations for weak acids and weak bases. A weak acid in its uncharged form is able to dissociate to release H plus ions and it becomes negatively charged itself. A weak base in its uncharged form is able to accept a hydrogen H plus ion and it then becomes positively charged. The Henderson-Hasselbalch equation describes how the relative proportion of ionized to unionized drug or any substance is determined by the pH of the solution in which it is dissolved and the drug's pKa, which is the negative log of the hydrogen ion dissociation constant of that drug. Here are the Henderson-Hasselbalch equations for a weak acid and a weak base. It's important to note that when the pH is equal to the pKa, the concentration of ionized drug is the same as the concentration of unionized drug. Here's the math to show it. If pH equals pKa, the left side of the equation is zero. Now take the antilog of both sides, that is, raise 10 to the power of those things, and you see that one is equal to B over BH plus, and now you see that B equals BH plus, or ionized equals unionized.